April 19th, 1989, Yusuf Salam. What happened that night? A turning point of, uh, of life. Hanging out with friends, thinking that you're going to, you know, go skateboarding in the park or walk around the lake, you know, to mayhem, so to speak, breaking out. Antron, do you remember um, violence in the park that night? It was, it was just real hectic. It was crazy. Um, just standing there and watching somebody get beat. I, just, I couldn't believe it, watching a man get beat. Um, yeah. I stayed there, but it was unreal. Um, a lot of people, they, they sometimes don't understand it from that perspective and realize that a child can be a witness to something without being a participant in something. And then all of a sudden now, here we became known as the culprits, you know? Right. And that was the part that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Sarah, what drew you to this story? I was a college student, and I spent the summer working for a civil rights lawyer. I was thinking about going to law school. And uh, this lawyer was just then getting involved in the civil suit that is still now ongoing. That was how I learned about the case. And I was so shocked. I think I don't think I'd really been exposed to a story quite like this before, at least not in a contemporary setting. I started looking at the media coverage and seeing this language that was used, wilding and wolf pack. And, um, and I was just sort of shocked to see that it had happened in 1989, this kind of language being used to describe a group of teenagers. Mm -hmm.